my intention for the whole canoe trip is to let go of everything from our outside life and just step into the wilderness with as little as possible so that we have to rely on gathering and utilizing what's available to us. We're going to be going without matches. We'll be learning how to do bow drill fire and depending on what kind of conditions that are given to us, that's what the participants will learn with. As we go along the canoe trip, we'll be going through different environments. Some places will be a very deciduous-like forest, and others will be with sour soils, so that we are more open to developing a relationship with the earth and all the things that we can get from that. And we'll come into an area, a new area, and right away people will scout the area out and decide where the fire hearth is going to go because that's our first rendezvous point. That's our first point of coming together. The second thing would be shelter. So then people will set up their tarps based on what's available for them. The river systems around here, uh, they're, they're quite windy. So there's a lot of um, learning how to maneuver your canoe, uh, how to be efficient in your paddling and stealth canoeing skills where you can be really quiet and and to just fit into the environment so that you can move around and approach wildlife. Another skill is to um, be able to find our way in the woods. Um, direction finding with no compass, loss proofing. And along with that we'll also be doing a lot of uh, weather forecasting so we need to be able to understand what the weather is doing at any one time. to go with a minimalist approach, meaning that we won't have pots and pans and cooking utensils or bowls to eat out of. We will learn to cook with what we have available to us right in the immediate surroundings. Being in such a tight group uh, for the eight days is going to be really pretty intense. Things are going to come up for people and you know our own issues, emotional baggage and things that we bring into the experience. We'll talk about uh, communication, honor and respect for people, how to empathize, how to understand where people are coming from, living together and functioning together, especially in an environment like this where you really have to rely on each other. Each morning we'll have time where we get together and we will share the dreams from the night before, go through the process of going through our dreams and seeing what it's giving to us and guidance. So to understand who we are as a person and how we fit into the group.